born into boxing royalty, but Conor Ben is forging a big hitting career of his own. 12 knockouts to his name already, and he's already very much emulating his father Nigel's success. Now, in July, Conor and Nigel joined us separately from Essex and Sydney, and, uh, oh, it was so obvious and sweet how much they were struggling to be separated. Every time my dad gets brought up in whatever it is that I do, it, it does make me emotional because, you know, I aspire to be half the man my dad was inside and outside the ring. And, you know, I just miss him. Yeah, I miss him loads. Oh, and the feeling I know was mutual. Fortunately, they're reunited. Connor and Nigel are here together. Good morning, now. Dad. Good, Good morning. to see you. It, it was, you're, you are so close, despite you being based in Australia. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, but we're very close, but we, we still have a rivalry, actually, like me and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we do everything that we do, me, me and Connor. We always challenge each other. Yeah. I came over here, I was 13 stone six, and I've been touring up north, and all I've been eating twice a day was moshy peas and fish and chips. <laughs> and I went up to 14 stone 10. No! Wow. Yeah, in two weeks. Look at Connor smiling. What he, was doing, <laughs> he was taking the mickey out of me, so since I've been doing that, I've lost well, a week and a half of lost like five kilos. So, Connor, you're on his case because you're saying, Dad, you're putting on too much timber. Oh, mate, I'm always on his case. Always. Always. We always have this bet every single time he comes over about trying to get home at a certain <laughs> weight. And we're just always having this friendly competition. Oh, it's brilliant, though. You <laughs> need it. It's really friendly. Well, not friendly, no. I'll take that, I'll take that part back. <laughs> What's it been like, Connor? Because when we spoke to you last, unfortunately, you then tested positive and you had to yeah. delay uh, your fight, which I know you fought and you did brilliantly. Yeah but still suffering, sort of, the, sort of the, the, the coronavirus sort of... Yeah, definitely. I mean, was I... Should I have fought? Probably not, um, in terms of the training was still... I had to jump straight back into mm. training once mm. I'd done my isolation. And it was hard, but, you know, you go for adversity in your career and it's how you react to it. And it, it was just one of them things. You play the cards you're dealt. I believe I could have beat him on my worst day, and that's exactly what I'd done. So you mm. beat him. You've got another fight lined up in December, December the 11th. Yeah. Um, what, how are you feeling about that? What's the setup? Oh, I, I feel great. In comparison to what I went through last camp, I was emotional. Then, obviously, yeah. I caught COVID. Mm. Um, I had my son this year, was moving house. So there was a lot going on in my own personal life. And it does play a massive factor into your training mm. and your career. So now, it's obviously, I'm in my home. I've mm. got my beautiful baby there. I've got my dad here. Um, yeah, all the, all the I'll put it up there of the positives. <laughs> they're, they're both responsibilities. The baby they're both responsibilities. Big, yeah. well. <laughs> but it was That's a good babysitter. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best reason for having you. But How first... are you feeling, though? Because uh, it can take a long time to recover long COVID from stuff, COVID. Yeah. yeah. I was very concerned about it, yeah. to be honest, because it took me about two weeks. Bearing in mind, I'm at peak fitness. It yeah. took me around two, three weeks to start actually feeling better. But then I was fighting a week later. Yeah, too close. So when people were say saying to me, oh, you need to be careful because of lung COVID, I couldn't afford to have that at the back of my head. Mm. I couldn't afford to let that affect me. At the end of the day, as I said, if I go in there, I can beat him on my worst day. And I prepared for that. I prepared for whatever I had to do, mm. go through to, to get the victory. And you're not feeling any after effects now, training? No. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I'm no. flying in training, you know. As, You're crushing um, it. I'm crushing it in the gym, so... <laughs> well, I mean, I think the thing I loved... Because, Nigel, there's so many things. I mean, you've always said that you wish you had had Connor's dedication to fitness and training mm. and nutrition, yeah. considering what you managed to achieve, but what maybe you could have done if you'd had that approach. Oh, I, I think I'd still be world champion if I had his, his team behind him. Because we never had no nutritional coach and all the strength and conditioning. We never had that. Just get the weights, Ooh, just pump them out, pump them out. <laughs> Completely different. He's trained. If I look at how how fit I was when I was at the peak of my career, Connor's still way above me now. Wow. Way above. Wow. But I know for a fact he still cannot punch like the darkly strong. <laughs> <laughs> You that. don't know what you guys have started here, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Well, we, we, we assumed you'd be a little bit uh, competitive with each other. So we've got the punching machine, yeah. uh, which obviously is a highly technical device, and we're going to work out whether it's the Dark Destroyer or the Destroyer that has the biggest punch. Did this come from a local fairground? It's been pinched from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. somewhere. It's been pinched from somewhere. But, I'm but not I, sure. I'm not sure. One it's of scientific. the things that COVID had meant, Nigel, you being in Australia, is you hadn't actually had a chance to meet your grandson, had oh, you? Wow. So what's it been like? I mean, I know you've been babysitting. What's it been like? It's been a... a you know, I ain't seen him in nine months. When I got to the airport, I thought, oh, 
don't cry. Oh. He just, he just cuddled me straight away. It's like he knew Aww. that I was granddad because I, he's, he's had a couple of Connor's friends trying to cuddle him and he's got... He's not having it. They're like oh. stiff as bald and he's saying, oh, I don't feel comfortable. And like, we've got pictures of me just sitting down with him with his legs crossed, sitting on me and he's just oh, no. absolutely just at, at peace. It's madness because it's when my family comes over, I realise the life I've built here for oh. myself, you know, like I wasn't the son that was supposed to be the one that gets married. Be the one that has a son, be the one that yeah. has a home. So it's when dad comes over and stands in my house where I go, I've actually built, well, I, I'm yeah. just blessed, yeah. A, yeah. Bit, a solid home, beautiful wife, beautiful baby. Oh. Yeah. And for my dad to come over and see that, it's, it's very Great. rewarding to yeah. me. So lovely, you, you must know. be proud as well. I, you, you know what, I, I'm proud of everything what he's done because I just sent him over here at a young age, mm. because one thing is, I was really firm with Connor. Yeah. I mean, he'd go and work with my friend and he'd get like $20 a day. Yeah. I'm you, talking hard graft. I'm talking like, <laughs> decorating. This is when you were in Mallorca. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How, how did you know that, Ben? Because I've done the research. Oh, we've yeah. the briefs. <laughs> Pain, painting and decorating from 8 a.m. till around 5 p.m., 20 euros a day. That's what, that what I used to get paid. Look where you are now. Look where you are discipline now. discipline Dad instilled in you. Should, should, we see, should we see if that discipline, um, who's got the better discipline, who's got the better punch? Should we go over to this punch bag? Yeah, I just Let's want that it. smoke. I'm, I'm nervous about <laughs> even witnessing this. Do you want that smoke? Are you going for it? No, anyway? no, you go no, first. No, you go first. No, no, you go no, first. No, 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 I've just got to measure it up. I've got a point. Here we go. What the papers is it? Keep arguing about it. Let's give you the tale of the tape before the two... Jens, on, rock, step paper, up in the red corner. He's the 57-year-old super middleweight coming in at 177 centimetres with 42 wins, 35 knockouts. The Dark Destroyer, Nigel Benn. They're still arguing, fighting out of the blue corner, the 25-year-old world to eight coming in at 173 centimetres with 19 wins, 12 knockouts and no defeats. He's the reigning WBA continental world to eight champion, Connor Bear. Now, has the first victory been Connor forcing his dad to go first? I'm not sure. So we're going to see what happens here. So, Nigel, when you're ready. Oh, here we go. Right, that. we're in. Let's see. So step back. Let's see how it goes. We're up to 840... 848. Nice start. Nigel, if you go and take your blade. <laughs> Oh, the record's Don't 8 right anyway. 848, here we go. So stepping up. The pretender, the youngster, can he beat his dad? Oh, oh no, no, I missed it, I missed it. I missed it, I missed it. Is going to be the father? No, 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 I missed it. No, 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 I missed it. We could be here for quite a long time. Oh, let me see. Let me try start it again. He might have just... No, OK. No, Can I he beat it? I just missed it. 860. Go on, mate. Oh, I this kid's got to be it. Oh, that felt strong. That but is it strong enough, Nigel? Is he going to go there? Yes! Oh! <laughs> Draw. Draw. Exactly the same. Yeah, I'll take a draw. Oh, no. we, we yeah, no. I'll skim the first one. Connor's no. taking the draw after the first one. I'll, I'll take uh, the draw. Okay, we've got Quasi Quartang, uh, business secretary, waiting in the wings to speak to us. Maybe he'd like to settle things like that in Parliament. Who uh, knows? It's lovely to see you both. Best of luck on December the 11th. Good luck with the rest of the tour. I know you're touring Thank with you. Chris at the moment, aren't yeah, you, and going brilliant. around the country. It's lovely to have you in the studio Thank as well. You, we'll be following Thank closely you. as ever. That I can't so believe we've managed to get 860 at the oh, end there. That is brilliant. You see? <laughs> you see? Right, we'll be here all day, won't we? Yeah, you're watching Good Morning Britain and ITV. Right, you, Garraway, up to Garraway. Let's get Kate on this. Oh, no, 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 no. It'll be Embarrassing. OK. <laughs> That's not bad. It's better than Connor's first one. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, mate. <laughs> Two, four, six. I really tried as well. You did really I try. really tried. I, think you know, I thought they'd gone to Come the break. Come on, Shaq. I'd go to the Come break. On, Shaq. I'd go to the break before Come I on, go on. I'm going to miss see. it completely. Oh, it's yeah. big. That it's felt big. strong. It felt strong. It's not strong enough, though. Oh. No, go on, Dad. No, 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 you've got to go first. I've got to go first. Go to the break, Adam. Go to the break, Adam. No, you've got to go first. 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 No, you've got